So in this video, we are going to see more on inheritance. Already in the previous video, we have seen uh, inheritance in PSP with an example. Here we are going to see some more uh, which I left in the previous video. I'm going to take it here. So what's an inheritance? Inheritance is a concept of accessing the features of one class from another class. Okay, so there are many types of inheritance like single inheritance, multiple, multi level, hierarchical. PHP supports single and hierarchical inheritance. Multiple inheritance is not supported, but it can be done using interfaces just like Java. The class which is inherited is called parent class. Another way you can call it as a super class or base class, while the class which is inheriting the Parent class is said to be child class or subclass or derived class. So how you can inherit a class? So this is a, this is a parent class and this is a child class. A child class can inherit the parent class by using the keyword extends. So this is the child class. After defining this, after uh, naming the child class, then you have to write the keyword extends and the parent class name. So now it says that class B is inheriting the property of A. So where A is a base class, that's what just now I have said. So what are all the things a child class inherit? The child class can inherit public and protected methods and variables of the parent class. Still it cannot inherit private class and private uh, variables. But it can inherit public and public variables, public methods, private protected variables and protected methods which are defined in the parent can be inherited by the child class. So parent class must be, the rule is when you are defining the child class, already this parent class must be defined. So parent class definition must come clear to the child class. So a small example, let us say class A, then inside we will define all the properties, constants, etc. And class B extends A. So we have to give that name, name of the uh, parent. So now this is the parent and this is the child. So this is a general syntax. Now let us take uh, actually what we are, I am going to explain in this is regarding the protected access specifier. So how it is used in inheritance. So that is what we are going to see more on this. So let's say a class called parent class and within that we have three different functions. One is public function and protected function and private. Now this is a child class named the child class and this, uh, this extends the parent class. That is it is inheriting the parent class. Now inside the child class it has its own function called child method. Okay. So other than the parent class inheriting, the child can have its own uh, public methods, private methods, and protected methods. Now, public function, now here we have defined a public function called child method. Inside that, we uh, try to call the protected method. And here, there will be no problem, it gets executed. So the protected method can be called. But when you try to do this, this, this private method, then it will show you the error because only a public and protected method can be accessed by the child. Not the private of this parent cannot be accessed even by the child. Now, in the main program, so we have defined a class. Then in the main program, we create an object, instance of an object, which is subtitled child. Now this child can access all these functions except this private function. Okay, can access a public, can access a protected, uh, where it can access within that. Even the protected method also cannot, you cannot access directly here. Through the child only you can access. And the private, definitely you cannot access in the child as well as outside also. So here, public method, this works. Then here, OBJ child method, this also works because this in turn called a protected. As we can access a protected method inside a child, there'll be no error. But this, uh, particular line will give you the error. 
so we'll see with an example Yeah, this is a small program with increase of font. Yes. Now we are defining a class called vehicle and this is a parent class and class bus. Using the exchange keyword, we are inheriting the parent class. So bus is a child class and vehicle is the parent class. So inside the vehicle, we have some functions that is methods and variables. So this is given as a public, public access specifier. That is, uh, this variable is a public variable. And we have two public functions, start and stop. So inside we uh, print the value, whatever is present in that accordingly. Then this is a child class where what we are doing is, we are uh, inheriting that and then so when we are inheriting all this public uh, all this public variable public functions are available you can access it as well as if there is any protect that also can be accessed by this cell but anyway there is no protect uh, variable here now we'll see that public dollar and uh, this is a variable local variable of this child so the child can have its own functions like this and it can have its own variables. Now, see here, we are getting some very value and we are assigning it to this uh, local member variable of the child. And then from this uh, public function, we call the parent function. Yes, this is also allowed. From child, you can access the parent. Then uh, we print some value. And here, see, this is, a, this is defined in the parent class. We are able to access it here and this is the local variable now outside the class uh, this is the main program where we create an object called obj1 which is of type bus that is child class now since all are public you can access all the variables now here we have given it as name equal to some value we have assigned so that it will be assigned to that then we call this stop so this will be printed then what we are doing is uh, we are assigning some value for this and then that is assigned to here and then again we call this start now again this will be printed then travel now this value will be printed then we call stop now let us see how this program get executed So this is what you are output. Now what we have done is first initialize the variable to png bus. Then we call this start method. When we call this start method, this will be executed. So here the value is printed and then it prints the hash start. So what is the next step? NO people. So here it assigned and again start is called. So now again this will be printed. Then what we are doing is we are assigning the value. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is over then we call this function travel which is defined in the child now this value is printed so in png as well where we are able to access the parent variable okay the number of people is this is uh, is this printing it as this number which is nothing but the local variable child variable then stop we are able to call this so uh here what we have defined is this instance created is nothing but of child but the child is able to access uh, all these functions as well as these functions as if they are all defined here so that is the main advantage now we'll see how to access a protected variable okay now let us see this program where this private is converted as a protected now i just change it as a protected variable so now here no problem 
this uh, the these functions can access the productivity variable because it is defined inside this itself now here also there will be no problem this uh, because this is a protected variable i as i already told you a child can access protected function and protected variable of which parents as well as all the public variables and functions it cannot access a private variable only okay now in the main program we call this uh, we instantiate the uh, object of the child and then here we call directly the protected variable now we'll see how this works here we call the protected variable directly as if it is a public only a public variable can be accessed outside its uh, in the main program that is outside its class it cannot protected and private cannot be accessed directly like this it can protected variable can be accessed only by its child class and through child class only you can access or in the main uh, class itself so we'll see how this works see error so this cannot be done cannot access protected property so it already it is already is a protected property so we cannot access it so now how to access it again you can access only through the its own functions as well as its own the from this uh, child so now i make it as public and then i'll run now it works now it works so let me make uh, this to be stop to be protected now already we have seen how to access a uh, protected variable now we'll see if a function is made protected can it be accessed it can be accessed from this child but it cannot be accessed directly like this this is not possible okay here we call, create the child and we try to access this outside so now it has to give me error the uncaught error call to protect method so so how i can do that i can call it here so how to do that see here in any of the method i can do or like this now this stop can be called from child like this so in any method or i can write another function where i call this now let us see how it works so i am calling this protected within child now let me see now it works Okay. so how it works first we are uh, assigning to the public variable and then we call the start method where this is printed so it has started and then no people is called now it assigns and it calls stop so this is executed so we have get the bus has stopped and then travel where this value this echo the value in this is printed where this name is a public name even if it is protected here it works but you cannot access it directly here so that is the main difference between a protected access case query i'll i'll summarize again a protected variable can be one uh, if it is declared in a parent it can be accessed only in the child so a child can access the protected variable and protected methods of the parent class but a protected method and protected functions Uh, sorry variables cannot be accessed outside the class outside the parent and child class whereas a private variable or a private function for a particular class cannot be accessed by even its child class also so which can be accessed by all only a variable which is declared public and a function which is declared public can be accessed throughout 